Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. My name is Sherry and this is Granny's Sewing Room. Thought I'd stop and let you know what I'm up to today. First of all, I'd like to ask you to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell so you can be notified when I put up uh, new videos. But I do want to thank you for stopping by and kind of let you know what uh, is going on in my life. First of all, I got to shout out to the Lord and give Him praise and glory and thank all of you wonderful viewers that prayed for me because I'm telling you, I'm feeling 100% better. Still have a slight cough, uh, <clears throat> but I have my energy back and I am excited to get on to Christmas and start Granny's Christmas party, um, getting prepared for it. But what I want to share with you last night, I had a, my first Zoom call with a couple of YouTubers. And Chris from So Notes and So April. April from So April. Um, it was pretty fun. Laying in bed last night, my cell phone rings, and we were all chatting on Instagram. And uh, my phone rang, and I thought I butt dialed somebody, but it was someone on the other end saying, Hello, hello, and it was uh, April. So we sit and we, I bet we talked for a good half hour, 45 minutes, us girls, and it was just a blast, just fun. God is so good. I'll tell you, you know, a year ago, and I'm still praying for the same thing, but now I'm being fulfilled, but praying for friends, you know, I kind of live a lonely life. <laughs> so I have gotten so many friends doing this YouTube. So it is awesome. If you even consider what to do a YouTube channel and you really don't think you have anything to share or teach or because I I'm not there isn't nothing I could teach that there isn't professionals out there already teaching but it is the interaction and it's just showing you what I'm doing in my life and how I do it and uh, really not meant to teach you just meant to entertain you somewhat but you get on YouTube you do that because if you're looking for friendships, there is a sewing community of women and men on here, and they are just awesome. Most kindest people, but God has blessed me with some great friends, and I am really enjoying this Zoom, I think it's called, on Instagram, and we, we had a good time last night. So, uh, lift Chris up in prayer. She's just not feeling well. So, if you lift Chris up in prayer, my heart would be so filled. But anyway, I want to show you what I'm doing. Uh, before I forget, has anyone told you you're special today? If not, let me be the first because you are in God's eyes. God bless you. But first of all, see what I'm wearing? It has pants to go with it. Let me see if I can show you the pants. I got these at Walmart the other day for $10. You can't even make that. Oh, it's so soft. And I got me a couple. So I think I am toward the end of the week here running out and grabbing me a couple more pair just to throw on because I like to be comfortable if I'm um, filming. And this is how I dress around the house. I don't dress to get dressed up and stuff. And I don't know, I like to sew this stuff. And when I go out for my girl lunches and I have it, but I'm not one to make all kinds of clothes and just have them sitting here. And you know, if I had places to go, people to see, I would love to do that. But I love to sew and then I love to feel like I got something new. So that's how I sew my clothes. I'm hoping to get uh, something made for my Christmas party. But if not, that's fine too. I'm more of a person that likes to sew for others um, and, and give my gift and my talent and my love from my heart away to others. So that's kind of the person I am. I don't barely, barely sew for myself. I have yet to make me a quilt. Uh, I make quilts for everybody else, but has has yet to make me a quilt. But this is what I'm making today. Um, this is my brother-in-law placed an order, and uh, this is his order. Oh, I see some of the uh, wash 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 away stabilizer still needs to be squirted down. But I made. I didn't make these pot holders. I'm making the other pot holders, so you can see the stuff on the back. But as it washes, uh, that stabilizer will go away. And it says "Delicious Starts in Jan's Kitchen." So two pot holders, a mitt, and uh, 
she got two two uh, towels, dish towels to go with it. Uh, season everything with love. And then this one says, be grateful. So he ordered that. And out of curiosity, if you want to know what I charge for um, dish towels and stuff like this, for a set like this, it's between $25 and $30. So, and that's mainly with the homemade, homemade uh, pot holders. So I really like that idea. So I am making a few sets of dish towels and this is gonna be the pot holder. So hot and spicy and I probably should have went with something more that says a little hot and spicy. And then they'll get each uh, towel to go with it. Be grateful and season everything with love. And I tried to match, you know, the towels and stuff. So the pot holders are all today. And if I have fabric left over, I'm going to do some bowl cozies. So, and the next pattern is coffee and lattes. And so, and these go with this set. And I just stuck with the same season everything with love and be grateful uh, because I already had that on the machine and makes life easier when you can just do it. But I have eight pot holders to make and I'm going to at least try to get two bowl cozies with each set. Um, so that's my plan today. And then yet this week I want to make a pillowcase for my step grandson and a Christmas stocking for my great-grandson. And then I'm going to move on to cutting out, I think, a couple purses. And my bobbins came so I can get my machine and get it up and playing. But what I thought I would do right today is I'm going to go, I'm gonna cut downstairs. I'm gonna eventually get my embroidery machine downstairs and rearrange it so I have everything downstairs and I'm not running up and down, up and down. So eventually, after Christmas, I'm really gonna work on that. So I gotta quit saying so, I just hate that when I say so all the time. But uh, today I'm going to just work on the pot holders and bowl cozies. I'm gonna go downstairs and get it all cut out, bring it back up here and kind of show you how I make it. It's just going to be, I'm going to have it zoom in. I already have a video of me making pot holders and stuff. So I will either link it up in the corner here or uh, put it in the end of the, of the video so you could see it or put it down below. I don't really know how to do all that. But uh, anyway, I want to tell you, God bless y'all. Uh, I, oh, my dog's ringing the bell. She has to go potty. Did you guys hear that? She's doing so good. Bingo is doing so good. So I'm going to pause this and I will be back. Since I'm downstairs cutting, I would uh, start a, an ornament. And here is the ornament. Our theme for our Christmas party this year is going to be uh, gingerbread houses. I couldn't get their whole name on, so I just put the A on there for Ariana in the year. So that I'm going to get that started. And then I will uh, go downstairs and get all my fabric cut out for my pot holders. So here we go. So I'm downstairs cutting while this is sewing. So
That's going to be a cute little ornament, I think. Now I'm going to put the year up here and their initial up on top. So I will let this go for a bit. 17 minutes. That's how long the red's going to take to stitch out. Holy smoke, holy. probably only get one of them done a day. Now see, if this was downstairs, I could be continuing to work on other things. Be much more productive. Might even make a dining room back in here, a sitting room. No point in having a dining room. All right, I'm gonna let this run a little bit and then we'll come back up and show you what it looks like. Let me see if I can zoom in. Isn't that cute? Okay, I'll be back. And now I'm going to turn it to the back and then I put this piece on the back side of it so it covers it up. So I'll get that spaced it down a little bit. And hopefully it'll stay on there. Close. Stop. Number three. I want this to be number three to seven. All right. So the back side's done, and let's come over here. While all that was sewing, I managed to get downstairs and cut out all my pot holders. I am using fast frames. I want to have uh, mighty hoops, but man, they're expensive. And then I use this... Uh, I use this clip. It's in the uh, office supplies, and I use this to clip my stabilizer around the Mighty Hoops. So, let's get this part cut out. stabilizer all off. I use tearaway stabilizer. I'm using felt fabric. All right. All right. Scissors. Let me see. There's some scissors here. These aren't my favorite. Nah. I got to have my favorite scissors. So with the brown, I'm going to cut as close as I possibly can to the stitches without cutting through. Slow down, Cherry. And I think this is a cute little ornament. And everybody's going to bring gingerbread houses. 
So the kids can decorate gingerbread houses this year. Last year, my party theme was the ugly sweater. My husband was going to have surgery this year, so I didn't think we were going to have a Christmas party. Hey, Bingo. What you going to do, we owe? Huh? What you doing, Bingo? All right. And now, so I am just going to use my pinking shears. And cut around my house. I don't know that I want it. Okay, my Christmas ornament. How cute is that? Isn't that cute? I think the design was only like a dollar fifty. It does take 35 minutes to um, embroidery it out and it takes felt, but that's my grandkids' Christmas ornament this year. All right, I'm going to get to making uh, my pot holders and I will show you what they look like. So I'm going to have to use two pieces. Kind of a waste. For eight pot holders. Ooh. Okay, here's the stabilizer. Let's put it on my machine. And first of all, let's just see. And I am just checking to make sure it is all on the frame. And it looks like it is. All right, perfect. And we're going to sew. And I didn't change my threads, which I usually do all that in Sew What Pro. So let's grab my first. And I think the first one is just the placement line. And we're going to switch. I don't want no black at all.
Okay, I'm gonna get it out of here and start cutting it up. So I have all my chili spicy ones done. Working on the other four. Well, I got almost everything I wanted sewed today done. I'm going to make more of my little Christmas ornaments for my grandkids. So I probably have another, I think, seven of these, eight of these to do. And they take 35 minutes to uh, embroidery out. But I did get, and I made this. I wanted to make a little pocket in the back. But I put the pocket on wrong, so the pocket's on the inside. So my next one is going to uh, have a pocket back here so you can put uh, your Christmas uh, recipes in there or spatulas or and hang up. But can you see it? It's sugar cookies. It turned out really cute. So I got that done. That took 55 minutes to stitch out. Holy moly. And then I got all my towels done. I did eight towels. Here are the towels. And here are the pot holders to go with the towels. So I got all the sets I wanted done, done. And here are the hot chili pepper ones. Hot chili pepper. So I used my new machine to close it up and sew around because it's nice and thick. So that went through it like butter. I like it. So that's what I got done today. Uh, I still want to make one uh, Christmas stocking yet before tonight and a pillowcase. And I want to get that done. Then I will have some time to work on a couple purses or bags whatever you call them but uh, so I will talk to you guys later I hope to get another video up again this week I'm going to it's going to take forever to uh, just edit this one I've cut it stopped it and started it stopped it and started it so but uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up that really helps my YouTube channel and uh, I look forward to trying to get a lot of videos up in December showing you everything I'm doing. So you guys go out and have a great day. Go do something creative, but whatever you do, do it in the name of the Lord. And remember, your blessings will always come back to you. The praises go up, the blessings come down. So I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye. God bless.